What's up everybody, it's your girl Katie and I'm back with another video. So guys, I'm just doing like this update video. I know I look like shit. I'm sorry. But I have some things that I need to tell y'all guys. So yesterday, um, I was not feeling great. Um, I don't know what was going on. I was like super dizzy. Like I could not really stay still because I couldn't figure out if I was spinning or if I was about to pass out or if everything was moving without me. Like I was really super dizzy. I couldn't catch my balance. I couldn't get full. I was feeling extremely hot. I was feeling nauseated. Like my stomach felt like it was cramping and turning at the same time. I don't really know what was going on. So I was like, all right, I went back to my house and then I was okay, like I, I got nice and cool and I got comfortable and then like all of a sudden I went to stand up to go to the bathroom and I wasn't feeling at all good at all. Like everything just went out from underneath me, everything was spinning, I couldn't move, I couldn't walk, I couldn't decide what was up, what was down, I didn't know if I was going to throw up on myself or not. I actually did pass out. Um, I don't know how long I was out. Like, everything completely blacked out. I don't know how long I was down for, but, um, my mom and a friend of mine actually tried to get me up, and I was not responding. It was really difficult, and, um, yeah, it was really difficult for me to, like, function. So, like, when I came out of it... I actually was feeling super, super dizzy, worse than I ever had felt. I was throwing up. Um, my sugar had actually went up to 180, which normally for me is not, it's not normal. My sugar doesn't ever go over like 90. So for it to be that high, um, I started getting, I was getting a headache. Um, I was getting really agitated, really irritated. I could not um, keep my balance. I could not stand up straight. Like, I couldn't do anything. It was really scary, guys. Like, really freaking scary. So, I told my mom, I was like, um, I need to go to the hospital. Can you take me to the hospital? My mom ended up taking me to the hospital. I didn't want to call an ambulance because, let's just face it, that's super expensive when you don't have Medicaid, like me. So... She took me and um, I didn't even make it inside the hospital completely. I was like leaning on some wheelchairs and stuff and I couldn't stand up straight. I felt like I was going to pass out. I lost my balance a few times. I felt like I was going to throw up. One of the nurse's assistants came in and he helped me get into a wheelchair. And I almost passed out on him a couple times. I did throw up. He gave me like a little throw up bag. I did throw up a lot. Um, I almost filled that whole bag up. So I get back there and everything. They're doing tests. They're running EKGs. They got me on a heart monitor. They got me on oxygen levels, blood pressure, EKG monitors, like everything. I got IV fluids going in me, <coughs> nausea medication. It was a long wait, too. I'm not going to lie to you. I was sitting there for a good hour waiting, and it was ridiculous. Like, I was in a lot of pain. I was throwing up constantly. I was not... I was not having it, like, at all. I was not feeling good. So, that happened, and then um, I finally got in the back and everything. They did all the blood work, the urine sample came back I wasn't pregnant I didn't have any um, urinary tract infections I didn't have any kind of infections in my urine my blood came back everything was good no STDs no HIV I didn't have anything going on with that my blood count was a little low like my white cell count 
but they said with throwing up and everything that's normal like it is gonna go down a little then they took me for a cat scan and decided to scan everything in my head to make sure that there was no tumors or any fluids or blood or anything on my brain so that came back and everything was good they gave me some Pepsi um, mixed with something else I don't know what it was to like calm my stomach down they gave me some nausea medication more IV fluids um, they gave me a pill for like the dizziness to like keep me steady and stable which it did kind of make me feel a little drowsy but not as much as they said it was going to make me feel. So, I mean, that helped a lot. It, it got rid of, like, a lot of the dizziness and stuff last night. So, I was there for a while. Like, I literally went in at, like, I think it was, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I didn't leave until, like, almost 10. I think I had, like, 4 or 5 minutes until 10. And I finally got home and I was... I was out of it like I turned my phone off it was on airplane mode I didn't want to be bothered um, I got comfortable and then I passed out like I didn't wake up until late this morning which is okay because I need to rest anyway so I I did and um, today I'm, I'm feeling a little better but not a hundred percent I'm super dizzy still like I feel like everything is still spinning out from under me I am nauseated now. Earlier I wasn't. But yeah. So I mean like my symptoms are still there. I still feel freaking horrible. I know I look horrible. I got like huge bags under my eyes and stuff. Because I haven't been sleeping right. Um, other than that I'm okay. Like um, they said essentially I'll be alright. They want to keep a close eye on it, though, because they said in some cases, if it doesn't go away, if it gets worse, then that means whatever the infection was that was in my ear and my sinuses has moved to my brain and it could cause a tumor in my brain, which could also be a reason why your balance gets off because you have a growth or something on your brain. I don't know. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm praying to God that doesn't happen because that's more serious because if it does happen that way, then I would have to go in for brain surgery to have the tumor removed. And let's just face it. I don't think I'm like healthy enough to go through that. So hopefully that doesn't work. Um, that doesn't happen. So, yeah, like, right now, um, I'm just, I'm gonna get the money up to get my medications and stuff, so that way I can start feeling better. Um, I did talk to a couple of people that I know, like, some friends of mine and stuff that know people that have it, and they said their, their stuff has lasted, like, weeks, um, weeks straight, like, all the time, and it just, I don't think I could go through that, guys, I really don't, um. It sounds horrible, but to be like constantly dizzy 24/7, like say like you're on a roller coaster and it's it's just like a lot of loops and twists and like taking you up and down and like that's how I essentially feel. Like I feel dizzy, my vision is blurry, um, my head is spinning like constantly. I do feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, if I eat. I try to keep it down, but let's just face it, if it's going to come up, it's going to come up. I have been trying to drink a lot of fluids to try to keep my body hydrated because it's hot. It's hot down here. We're almost in the 90s. It's freaking super hot. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm dealing with. I wanted to let y'all know. Um, I am working on another story time idea. They did leave in my comment section. Um, the best job that I ever had and the worst job that I ever had. That will probably be coming in a couple of days. I don't know, depending on how I feel. If not, I'm not going to touch that until like next week or the week before. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, just be patient with me. Let me get better. And then um, I'll see how it goes. If I'm feeling better by next week, then I will definitely be dropping that video 
with um another video that i did so we'll see how things go that's all i have to say right now guys so just pray for me pray for me and um keep keep y'all's heads up and like if y'all are experiencing anything like i'm experiencing let me know comment down below in my comment section and let me know what's going on with you what have you experienced personally what have they gave you to help you how are you dealing with it how long did it last i want to know i need some insight on this because they said that this can happen like randomly like you're never gonna know when it happens again it just happens so i kind of want to be prepared but i don't at the same time so let me know in the comment section if you ever dealt with this are you going through this or are you been through this before in the past and it came back or something i don't know just let me know guys in the comment section that's all for now guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button comment down below for more content i love you guys so much don't forget to join the kitty love fam and turn your post notification on love you